Hello there, crafty friends. I have been working on a new project, kind of a different one. And I have been asked for a little flip through or just a little guidance, I guess, on what how I have used uh, my very cute, cute, which I love so much, pocket size uh, traveler's notebook by Webster's Pages. Uh, if you have seen some of my other videos, uh, I did a little series where I go through all of the new planners and the new pocket size and the new traveler's notebooks uh, by, by Webster's Pages, um, the brand new line for 2018. If you don't know, if you this is your first time here uh, watching one of my videos, I am part of the design team for Webster's Pages. So I get to play with these amazing little um, journals and planners and I just love them as and everybody does. If I get so many questions about these guys and so I've always tried to think outside the box and try to find new ways on how I can use you know different products and in this case I have been thinking uh, about how to what other ways can I use these traveler's notebooks, the pocket size? And so I, I've been wanting to have a wallet, uh, use one of the traveler's notebooks as a wallet, but the regular size, and let me show you one. Here is the regular size traveler's notebook. Oops, my camera is zoomed in so that you can see it. So let me go out a little bit. And so this is the regular size, this is the pocket size. And I had always thought to turn one of these into a wallet, but then that would mean that I would need a much bigger purse to carry with me on a daily basis. So when they came out with this one, I thought this, this would work. This is just gonna be perfect. So I've been talking too much, so let's get to it. <laughs> um, so I turned this into a wallet, and I'm gonna kinda show you how I did it. I've been asked uh, how and where I've gotten some of these products, so I'm gonna try and do my best to remember where I got everything and how I did it. So first of all, uh, I love the fact that it has an elastic band because I feel like it keeps everything secure, and I'm not afraid of losing, obviously, credit cards or my ID or important things like that. So, I am, you know, I try to make it to, you know, look cute, but also to be actual useful and not super crazy to where I, you know, it's overwhelming. So, I've tried to keep things simple. So, what I've done here, there's just a, um, the, it comes with a little pocket here. So, I have put this little tag that came in one of their papers. Okay, hold on. Let me zoom in a little more there so it has a little pocket and i just put a little car is the little llama that says hi and everybody's been asking me oh my gosh that llama is so cute it is part of their brand new paper line as well um and i just got one and i tried to use pretty much uh some of their papers and and their stickers and things to decorate this so uh, like i said i just put a little car i i don't know i just put this little tag here um, and you know what? I'm missing one thing that I've been wanting to add and I'll have to probably stop the video and go get it. So on this pocket here, um, I just have some of my business cards and I'm going to carry those there. Like I said, I, I, as it is, it's kind of chunky already, but I don't want it to be too clunky and, you know, carry stuff that I'm really not going to use. So let me take this out. So... So this is a file folder and I got this from Amazon and how it came is if you do a Google or an Amazon search for pocket size inserts or refills, you should be able to see this right here. And this was one set. It came with this little file folder and one of these uh, zipper pockets but it has space for credit cards so it came with these two then I bought a second set that came with two of these so I knew I would end up with three of these and one of these and um, so that's what that is and let me go put it back together okay so I had it like that and like that
And then the Traveler's Notebook here comes with four elastic bands. So that's awesome to add, you know, several things that you can add to it. And there's other ways to add even more if you wanted to. But like I said, I didn't want it to be too chunky. So this is how I, how I arrange the two zipper pockets with the file folder. And so now I'm going to show it to you. So the, it, on the outside, it looked like this, just a craft paper. But I use Webster's Pages beautiful floral paper and covered the front and the back. And I use some washi tape. This is actually like fabric washi tape to reinforce the spine. And put it back. There's going to be a lot of back and forth of this, guys. So I can, you can show it to you and show you how I've used it. So, I just decorated it. This is also a sticker that came in the new sticker pack by Webster's Pages. And then on the inside, oh my goodness, so sorry, hold on. So the inside, I just decorated with a few little stickers. This, I added a little, a title for this little pocket. It says receipts. So this is where I'm going to put my receipts here. And then I added this little, cute arrow paper clip also by Webster's Pages so that I can just carry it here in case I need to you know use it to hold something together but I feel like it would also keep things in place the receipts obviously I'm going to have to be diligent about emptying it out because it's you know normally on my other wallet I would just keep putting them and I end up with the stack but this time I know I have to be diligent and clear it out and throw things out so that I can keep everything under control so this zipper pocket here it's where I will hold some cash and I'm surprised I have some cash because I never have any cash with me so I use that for that now obviously I've put some old gift cards I save my gift cards because I use them for different crafting projects used gift cards and so I'm using these here to show you that this is where your um, credit cards would go and your ID and things like that one cool little thing here um, this is an old uh, Joanne's gift card and I wrapped some washi tape around it. Again, this is a used uh, Joanne's gift card, so it's empty. So you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, how are you going to use it? Because it's empty. So you, I can add a couple of more uh, different types of washi tape and then I will be set for that. If, you, if I needed more sp lot, uh, space for... Um, credit cards I could just add another one of these but for now I am good with just the two because there's two here and two here that's four this pocket here I'm going to use to add you know other if I get a business card from somewhere or I don't know you know we always have some random cards that we carry so that's what this pocket is gonna be for and then this is the other side, right? Because this is one pocket here. And then the outer parts is the other one. So I also have two, four more uh, spaces for credit cards. So that's what that is. Then on the other side of the file folder, I've added another of the arrow paper clips. And then I just put, you know, these other two, this is a kids club uh, from Barnes and Noble. And this was just a cute little business card that I got from someone. So this is just another space for whatever, uh, whatever else that, you know, comes along. <laughs> so there's just another space for storage. I would say that. And like I said, I decorated the, the front and the back using the same paper. Now, you know, on your wallet, what do you normally carry? It's credit cards, change, and coins, and um, receipts, right? So that pretty much is everything right here. So like I said, I'm going to have to be diligent and keep it clean. Now, because this is an awesome, cute little traveler's notebook, uh, and because it has more elastic bands, I went on the hunt for pocket-sized little notebooks and... I didn't even know that uh, um, Webster's Pages came up with inserts to go, you know, in their traveler's notebook. Now, this one, if you purchase one of these, it comes with a plain one. Let me show it to you. 
it come, they come with one of these, which I could keep in there, but, <laughs> uh, and it's just little blank pages. And I could have decorated the front and the back, but when I found uh, this set here, it's a set of two, I found these at uh, scrapbook.com and I forgot how much they were, but they were probably like six dollars or something like that and it came with this very cute they match their paper um their paper line and so i thought well i'm just gonna give them a try and of course i love them and so i added both of them one of them comes with lines and the other one is just blank pages and so i thought i can use it for you know some sort of planning uh, you know notes or you know a sketch or something that I see or a reminder of some sort um, I can probably find a stamp that I can use on each page if I wanted to create a a sort of a planner but I have so many planners I feel like I don't need to do that I can just write things down that I want to remember or that I want to keep track of and then when I get home I can add them to my actual planners so that's why I wasn't too worried about you know, I, it was okay for me to keep them clean. I made this cute little tag, and this was from a packaging. Um, I got some of the paper clips when the, the where the paper clips came, uh, and I guess some enamel dots too. It was just their packaging, and I love this floral pattern. So I turned it into a tag. And then I added a little sticker and this is going to be like a bookmark. So wherever page I'm on, I'm going to put it there. And because I'll see the little uh, Baker's Twine sticking out, I know where I am, where, you know, what section I am on. I should probably add a little quote or something else in here and I probably will, but I thought that was kind of a handy dandy little idea there i decorated the front with a more of their stickers this one just says list and lists and then to do the one on the back which is so beautiful and i put it on the back because um it's a blank so i feel like i'm gonna use this one you know more often uh, this would be great for sketches when I'm, you know, walking around Target or anywhere. Um, I am attracted to signs and color palettes and my eyes immediately go there. And a lot of times I get inspiration from that. Um, a packaging, you know, if, if you're somewhere, let's say you're at Target or at, I don't know, whatever shops, your home goods or whatever, and you see a package of something cute and maybe it might struck an idea of some sort. Uh, this, I think this is how I'm going to be using this little notebook here. I added a few more little stickers from their uh, paper line and that was it. I'm going to keep this little... Uh, bull nose clip I think that's what these are called just to kind of keep things secure and in case I need it for something and then that is what's inside of this one on the very back again I don't want to keep it bulky uh, the puck the uh, this TN has so many pockets and you never know you go somewhere someone hands you something or you find something um, you can just you know I'll use these uh, empty pockets here for that but I did make a little inspirational tag a couple of quotes that I feel like they would be good for me to constantly be reminded in case I don't know you know I Someone did something while I was driving and it got me upset, <laughs> which it happens all the time. And sometimes I just park, you know, wherever I get to my destination, I park and I take a deep breath and I try to let go of something that might have upset me or made me sad or whatever. Uh, and I thought, you know what, I can pull this card out and read it and just kind of bring myself back together. So this one here says my mission. To be so busy loving my life that I have no time for hate, regret, worry, fret, or fear. And that is just in, it summarizes everything that, uh, you know, how I should live, <laughs> right? So I love that and I just did a little water coloring. I used a few of the Reset Girl stickers and some doodling, of course. Uh, the tag I cut with my Cricut. 
Cricut or Cricut, sorry. And then on the back, I added another quote. Uh, it says, Dear God, thank you for today, yesterday, and tomorrow. My family, my joys, my sorrows, for all that made me stronger. So, very inspirational, strong. It just has a lot of meaning to, uh, to me. So I added that. I will carry that here. So whenever I need a little pep talk, I feel that quotes, uh, that's what they are to me. They're my little pep talks when I need someone. And I do spend a lot of time alone and I am totally okay with that. I love love my alone time uh, when the boys are at school and my husband is at work um, and you know what I, I, I said I'm alone but sometimes although we're not face to face you know when I create things like this it does feel like I am creating them for you because what else what's the point I've already made it I know what it is so the point is to share so maybe I'm not so alone and again it's not I'm not lonely, <laughs> I'm alone, and that is okay. And so these quotes sometimes help me whenever I'm, you know, something happens or, you know, sometimes we get into different moods where there are days where I'm cheerful and everything is wonderful, and then there's days where there's really no reason why to be down or low, but I am, and I think it's it's all hormones, right? We all know that. So, hey, but you know what? My quote journals sometimes are just exactly what I need. So, anyways, guys, I was trying to keep this short, but I'm uh, babbling on. So, oh, everybody asked me about the pen. It's I like it because it's small. It's not... Um, Sorry, it's not your regular size as you can see. I just grabbed two different pens and these are super big, which it could still work. But um, I had this one and this one came from a little store. Um, there's, there's here in California, there's a lot of them. I don't know that they are in other parts of the US. I think there's some in Texas, a couple. Um, but the story is called Daiso, D-A-I-S-O, and everything in there is $1.50. So this little pen is $1.50, and it's just so pretty. Everybody asks me uh, tons of questions about it, and it's perfect. It's pink, and it has a bow, and how awesome is that? <laughs> so that one fits here perfect. Uh, I could squeeze it more like that make sure it doesn't come off uh, but there there it is so that is it guys I hope that you found this useful maybe you want to give it a try this is my very first time switching uh, my wallet to a TN and I think I'm gonna love it it fits in my purse okay this is the purse I'm using right now and it fits like that, just standing up. I don't know what else I have in here. My keys, I carry a little um, shopping bag. This one is also from Daiso. It It is very compact and hold on, I can't zip it up. And it just, it's a reusable, you know, shopping bag and I love it. I gave one to all of my nieces and my sister and my mom for Christmas so they can carry in their purse. And I have my little EOS and I have a little coin purse um, to keep my change because that's what helps my keys. So I move everything around and it fits here standing up. I hope you can see that. So if it's standing up, it doesn't stick out or anything. It's I can close it fine. So all I carry is that wallet a little um, shopping bag, my coins, my EOS, and my phone fits in there, and my glasses fit in there, and my keys, and that's it. So, guys, I hope you found that useful. <laughs> this is kind of weird because I tend to do just more of crafty projects, and this is a crafty project, but it feels a little personal. So, let me know if you have any questions. I will let you know. Um, I've only had or I've been using this system for not even a week, but so far so good. 
Um, I have gotten two comments whenever I pull it out and open it and start taking out my cash or, or my credit cards, especially if it's women that are checking me out. And I mean checking out from the store, not checking me out. <laughs> so anyways, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this was useful. I will have links of everything. There will not be any close-ups um, of anything. So that's it, guys. Until next time, bye.